Uh, I'm Simi Lamez, um, software test engineer at the platform team, and I'll be giving a quick update on the QA and testing side of things. Um, so on the, so the, in the automated testing development, um, I have started looking at uh, handling emails with Behat. So the idea is that we can um, send an email to Moodle, capture that using Behat, and validate the content. Uh, sometimes click on a link that will confirm an account, for example, clear the inbox and mark messages as read as and unread. Uh, so that's a really cool thing that will help us to get rid of some QA tests in the long term as well. Uh, we also have been um, fixing some CI failures and converting manual steps to data generators. That's pretty much being done by Angelia. Um, on the QA side of things, um, we also have been converting QA tests to BHAT um, and also reviewing the existing tests to verify which ones are already covered by BHAT in some way. So by doing that, we managed to remove 37, te 37 tests from the matrix. So just for reference, last QA cycle, we started with 615 tests, and now we are at um, 566 and with the ongoing uh, conversions that number will go down a little bit um, and a heads up that our QA cycle is not that far away in it's um, less than a month away so start preparing yourselves and organizing with the teams uh, one important thing is to verify if there are projects that will have work landed after the QA cycle is started, so we can put those issues on hold. And yeah, uh, at some point I will start sending the um, links to the dashboards or with the failure, so each team can, we have a more organized way to handle the QA test fails. And yeah, that's pretty much me uh, on the QA and testing side of things. Anyone have any question?